Techno, so you missed out on so much content if you just flicked that on. I thought I was getting recorded, the lights on. I didn't, I didn't think I was. Nah, nah, I didn't want to intrude. I didn't want to intrude. Off the record, don't no, exist with never, me. Never unfiltered. Off the record, don't exist with me. Sonny, just two, two pence, or as they say, two cents. On I seen it. On Canelo and Charlo. Dallas, no. No. On Canelo and Charlo? Yeah. I want Charlo to win, man. I'm kind of sick of Canelo's superstar reign. Um, great for boxing, but at the same time, I feel like they've kept all the events sort of just over there for the most part, um, in their side of the world. And I don't know, okay, yeah, Charlo is still, but I think it will open up a few more storylines. Um, like it did for Bivol, you know? Like, we know we're gonna get him with Canelo now, and he's a very good fighter. But I think every time someone beats him, it's sort of exploding someone else. That's good though. Yeah, exactly, that's what we need. Yeah, right emerge now. more stars. Unfor unfortunately, Canelo, you're not the guy no more that we need to like, get there because you're there. Like, you've probably exhausted. He, he went on a world tour, especially a Britain tour, beating every good fighter, do you know what I mean? So, eventually that has to come to an end, and Charlo's would be a good one for boxing right now. And you know, I think it would make a lot of storylines being in the Mexican, maybe for the Britain fighters in the future, then and then capitalise on that, who knows? Um, yeah, what? I like Charlo, I like, I like their approach. And I've, I've always had some like gripes with the Eddie Reynoso team and the foul drugs test and the old Clem Booter, I was actually okay if you not take it. So there's always been that that's just been a bit frustrating for me um, with the Martinez situation of my brother and also him not fighting me, etc. So yeah, just is what it is. But I, I, I'm rooting for Charlo and I think he's the bigger man naturally. He is. That the frame of their body is the bigger man. He's just been not blowing up and fighting at heavier weights where Canelo has, you know, Maxed kind out. of exhausted all his options because yeah. he can fight whenever he wants and get to whoever he wants. And Charlo maybe not had that luxury so much. So that's how you feel. What does your brain tell you? How does the fight potentially play out? I don't know because I'll be real. And I was saying to this, when I was in America, I was talking to some of the American fighters and the um, fans out there. You know, because PBC is so like underexposed in, in Britain. Like, you know, anytime someone comes through the, like, that route, like, I have to go and look for them, usually. And Charlo's, I feel that really, really, like, I've, I've watched a few like there now to build up a bit more in the last like couple of fights and that, and picking up on like, the Castano storylines, etc. But I missed out on like the build up and like the really getting to know a fighter and knowing their reactions and when this happens, or they got hurt then, or they got cut then. Or, so I'll be real, I missed out on that with Canelo has been over, not overexposed. He's brought the exposure, do you know what I mean? So rightly exposed. Um, Plus he's fought a lot of British fighters, so, so we know him. We've seen him, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah. we've definitely seen him. Um, he knows what he's doing, he knows why he's fighting people and who he's fighting, because he knows what he does for the global market. And he's smart. I've unfortunately not been able to have many of those opponents. I'm getting Nicaraguans and South Africans. With not now, bases. not now. Not anymore, we're getting the Americans, we're getting the ones with the, the, the headlines of their own. And, that's what I've been asking for and crying for. But now I'm at this level, beat bam, it's Chocolatito, it's Estrada, it's Quadrasses, Cisco Rex, it's all the big names up and around. It's Martinez, maybe, hopefully, he can finally get them millions he's asking for to fight me. I don't know if Eddie will ever give it to him, to be honest. Especially not the money I'm asking for now. Remind me, um, you mentioned all the champions in your division. Obviously, you got the big bout with bam in December. And then Martinez, the other champ. Remind me of the fourth champ's name. Dalekan. There you go. Yeah. yeah. I've sparred him. I've been his uh, paid sparring partner when I was coming up in my career. Twice on two separate occasions and I'd be very confident in that fight then to be honest. So definitely now I'm I'm out. I'm not I want a fifth in the fight round today. So you're ready to go through butter, like like hot knife, yeah? Yeah man, I win man. I don't know I don't know how I do it. I just always do it quite easy. Sunny, I've been around you a lot the last week or so. It's been a pleasure. You've been a laugh. You've been honest, you've been uncensored, unfiltered. That's what we love, man. Keep doing it, bro. Nah, man, Ring wraps.